Many people see a conflict between science and the Christian faith, and this includes young people in the church who unfortunately get the impression oftentimes that science is dangerous. And they may have an orientation towards science, but they're discouraged from taking courses in science or even pursuing careers in science. So the question is, how can we help these young people become interested and feel confident in pursuing studies in science? I'm joined by Dr. A.J. Roberts, who's a virologist, a molecular biologist, and a Christian to help answer this question. Uh, A.J., first of all, what would you say to a young person, whether they are a believer or a non-believer who's interested in going into science? What kind of practical advice would you give them? Number one, I would respond with great enthusiasm. I think it's fantastic when somebody wants to go into science, and I think we need to encourage as many people as want to approach it to approach uh, studies of science long-term as a vocation. And uh, science is just replete with all kinds of uh, areas that we know so little about, even now. Uh, if we think about genomics, we think we've conquered the human genome by sequencing it. There's still aspects of genomics, many aspects of genomics, that we've only begun to scratch the surface of. So the future uh, is going to be unpacked by scientists, and I think young people should be interested in how they can contribute to unpacking that. Great, great. So then what would you say specifically now to that young person who's in the church who uh, maybe is getting the message that science isn't something that they should think about if they're really serious about their faith? That's a great question, Foz. I, I think, unfortunately, that many young people do hear that message inside the church. And I would encourage them that that's, that's just not a very good message. And that, you know, God actually is the author of nature and the author of our faith. And so for them to want to explore what's true about reality and to learn more about God's character and God's creation is a very noble and, and wonderful pursuit. And I think they should be encouraged to study science. Science itself is actually a, a great discipline because we can ask all kinds of questions about how things work. And as we unpack how things work, we can ask even bigger questions about how can we use what we're learning to help benefit the people around us and, and to sort of stave off some of the deterioration or decay or disease that we see in creation. So we could think then really of, of science as a, a pathway by which we can worship God, gain greater insight into who God is uh, and science becomes the vehicle to that, towards that. And then also can see science as a way that we can serve other people and, and love other people. Absolutely. And I, I think I would also encourage that those young people to, to study hard and to believe that there is a harmony between the things that we discover in science and between the Christian faith. And those may not always be apparent. There may actually be apparent contradictions. But if they, if they believe God, and they believe what he said, that he is the author of both, then they should be able to find reconciliation. If they continue to study hard and to look into things deeply, I, I would tell them, think, 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 and keep asking questions. You know, it's, it's something that benefits you in your Christian faith, and it's something that certainly benefits you as you pursue scientific questions. 